Well, today I'm going to mill a band ring with names on the outside of the band in jeweler's wax uh, that we can cast in the sterling silver. We're going to do that on the Roland MDX 40 with the fourth axis. And well, I want to explain a little bit how I do this. I make my own jeweler's wax tubes with a hole about, oh, size four. And then I cut off a piece and I pre-size my wax tube. This one's gonna be of a size eight. And then I've already marked the center point. I'll try to do this by one hand here. I'll put it on my uh, fixture here that holds the wax. Like I said, I've already measured out pretty much where my center line is. Tighten that up. Okay. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the milling, this is CNC milling, of course. Uh, I'm going to go to my thing over here, and I'm going to select uh, set the Z. So it's going to set the automatic Z origin. And we'll start the detection. Now I'll show you how it works. Now I'm using a uh, it's touching off. That's a uh, tapered ball end bit, 0 0.010 tip size. Okay. Now I'll just push this button, my view button. I'll press the view button again. And like I mentioned, I'll bring it down a minute. But it's not that important at this point. We're very close enough. And a tip is on the center line. So now I'll go over to my program and start the file. Click the output. Here we go. I'm milling it at about 1200 RPMs or 1200 millimeters a minute at uh, 65 RPMs. The first cut is always slower. When it gets a cut, the first cut, then it picks up. I'm gonna go into my other program over here and see if I speed it up a little bit. That's Judas Wax. And again, we're going to cast it in silver. Let's give me a name ring. I'll let it go for a few minutes. and Oh, it's going to take about 25, 30 minutes to mill this. Again, this is the Roland MDX40. The fourth axis on it.
cutting in uh, probably about oh seven eight millimeters uh, deep with one cut pass so I do it all in one cut probably at least seven I forgot to measure the outside of the tube the ring is uh, like three millimeters thick so it's about six or seven millimeters it's cutting Let it cut for a little while. I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll put out another video of the final piece as it's finishing. Here's the ring, what it looks like in the CAD program. This is Proto Wizard. And I go to Proto Wizard and basically I just kind of pick over here. Then I run through here, you see, you have the op option to add some supports in here, so milling supports, you can see them right there. They're a little bit big, but I'm only one-handed here, so I'm just going to show you. And then from there, you pick your tool, and I select my tool, conical mill, it. I use like 10 degree, and then you can change your speed rates, spindle speed, right now I'm just going to click OK for it. And then what happens is it calculates the toolpath file, shows you the toolpath is being calculated. It takes a little time to generate that toolpath. Wipe it down once a little bit. Top of the ring started out with a little heart design, and now it's getting cutting into the, uh, the actual letters. Let me show you what it is. Hit my view button. There's the start of the letter. It's going to say Willow Eve. That's the start of it. Picks up where I left off. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go for right now and I'll put another video as it's finishing up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.